Hello everyone, bridges help us cross rivers, mountains, and even oceans, making travel so much easier. But did you know that thanks to modern machines and advanced technology, we can now build massive bridges in record time? Some stretch for hundreds of kilometers, even across the sea, something no one thought possible in the past. Each bridge has its own unique design and construction method, depending on the terrain and engineering needs. That's why you might be wondering, how do they build these incredible structures so fast? Let's find out how modern bridge construction technologies have made the impossible possible. Modern bridge construction technology using precast segmental method. The precast segmental construction method refers to the technique of assembling pre-manufactured components that are produced in a factory, forming the load-bearing structures of a bridge. With this method, concrete components are produced using reinforced concrete casting and molds, designed in advance according to the specific requirements of each project. These segments will differ in size, shape, and quality depending on the design, allowing for strict quality control in both structural integrity and appearance at the factory before being transported to the construction site. Precast concrete segments offer significant advantages over cast-in-place concrete. Additionally, since they are produced in a factory environment, they are unaffected by weather conditions. Due to the large size and heavy weight of these components, specialized transport vehicles must be used to deliver them to the construction site. Once the segments arrive at the site, the construction team proceeds with the installation process. To assemble these large bridge girders, a long launching gantry, often several dozen meters in length, is set up between two piers. At the center of the gantry is an electric hoist system, which handles the lifting and precise placement of the segments. When a concrete segment is delivered beneath the bridge by truck, the electric hoist lifts it and moves it to the installation location. All configurations and technical parameters are controlled by a computer, ensuring the highest level of accuracy. This process is repeated segment by segment until the entire bridge span is assembled. The segment assembly process produces minimal noise and is carried out very smoothly. Once one span is completed, the launching gantry slides forward to begin assembling the next span. Thanks to this method, the construction process is not dependent on factors such as time of day or weather conditions, meaning work can continue both day and night. This significantly shortens the total construction time. Depending on the specifics of each project, different types of joints are used to connect the segments. For steel bridges, components are usually connected by welding or bolts. For concrete bridges, the connections are made using cast-in-place concrete joints. These methods help to accelerate construction while also ensuring better quality control at the joints. In China, to handle the installation of massive bridge girders, engineers have developed a giant machine to make the job easier and faster. This machine is called the SLG900, nicknamed the Iron Monster. Its primary task is to lift, transport, and install massive prefabricated bridge segments, some weighing hundreds of tons, directly into position. The SLJ900 is 91.8 meters long, 7.4 meters wide, and 9 meters tall. It is capable of lifting and moving bridge segments weighing up to 900 tons and measuring 36 meters in length. The machine has 60 for wheels, divided into for clusters, and can rotate on the spot. During the construction process, the SLJ900 transports segments from the factory to the site. First, it anchors itself to the edge of one bridge pier, then gradually moves to the second pier using a pneumatic structure. It then lifts and positions the segment between the two piers, and just like that, one bridge segment is installed. Thanks to this machine, bridge construction speed is now up to six times faster than before. Truly an incredible piece of engineering, wouldn't you agree?
Bridge construction technology, concrete-filled steel tube arch bridges, and other modern techniques. The concrete-filled steel tube CFSD structure refers to a system of load-bearing components where the main element is a steel tube filled with high-strength concrete. The Wujiang River Arch Bridge in Guizhou, China, is currently the longest CFST arch bridge in the world. Let's take a look at how this incredible bridge was built. First, the steel tubes were fabricated in the factory. Workers welded and bolted together large diameter steel tubes to form a unified framework. These steel tubes were then coated with multiple layers of paint to ensure their durability and resistance to the natural environment. The initial step in building a bridge is the construction of its piers. Two massive steel bridge piers were built on each river bank. The foundations of these piers were dug as deep as 8 meters into the ground. Reinforced concrete was poured into these foundations to ensure the stability of the structure. Once the foundations were completed, construction moved to assembling the main piers. Giant steel structural components were transported to the site and installed using cranes and heavy-duty cable systems. This phase was relatively smooth as it took place on dry land. With the piers completed, workers began assembling the arch segments. A massive cableway system was set up between the two piers to facilitate the transportation and positioning of the arch components. These components were first delivered by barge on the river, then hoisted by the cable system and positioned to form the arch shape. This complex process was meticulously controlled by advanced computer systems. Workers then performed precise welding, bolting, and alignment tasks. In this manner, the world's longest CFST arch bridge gradually came together. Once the arch structure was complete, construction of the bridge deck began immediately afterward. Unlike regular steel tubes, CFST elements are most effective under compression forces. The use of CFST technology in bridge construction is relatively new but has already been applied to several large bridge projects in Vietnam with excellent results. These steel tubes are lightweight, making them easy to transport and assemble, and they also provide a high degree of structural elegance and visual appeal. As such, this type of structure is becoming increasingly common in urban bridges. Simple Span and Continuous Span Concrete Girder Bridge Technology The Simple Span Reinforced Concrete Girder Construction Method is one of the most classic and widely used bridge building techniques today. Bridges with a simple span configuration use either steel girders or precast reinforced concrete girders that can extend for dozens of meters. This method remains popular due to its relatively straightforward construction process. Precast girder insulation can be carried out in various ways depending on the site's terrain and the contractor's available technology and equipment. The size and weight of the girders vary depending on the specific project requirements. These girders may be precast at a factory or cast directly on-site, then installed using cranes. Let's observe how these girders are assembled on bridge piers. And there you have it! We've just explored the modern bridge construction technologies that allow us to build bridges more quickly and efficiently than ever before. If you know of any other unique or innovative bridge building methods, don't hesitate to share them with us and the viewers by leaving a comment below this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch and support our content. Goodbye and see you in the next video.